Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we will speak about English grammar, plural and singular. I'm Ahmed Mizhar Bakalman. This is my presentation. And uh, uh, we, we say that we will speak about plural and singular. We, let us start, but bef before we start, uh, we, will, we will see what is the plural and what is the singular. We know the singular is one object, one thing, or one person, or one place. And the plural, of course, is uh, all of us know it. That is uh, uh, two or more things, persons, and places. Bismillah. We have some examples here. Uh, the first uh, example, we say, add us to the singular noun. We will, here, we will add us to every singular noun. Singular, a pock. A pock. Plural, pox. Pox. Here we add us. We add us. This is us. And another example. Paul. Paul. Pause. Pause. Another example we have here. It is the singular. Add uh, es to the singular noun. Singular. Pox. Pox. Plural. Boxes. Boxes. Here we have tomato. Tomato. Then there is tomato. Tomatoes. Another we have it. Changing y into i e s. If the singular, if it's, if it's a singular. Okay. Baby. Babies. Baby. Babies. Bunny. Bunnies. Bunny, a bunnies. Then another, if the end of or if e the plural is formed by changing if or if e into v e s, like we have a loaf and loaves, loaf, loaves, and here knife, knives, knife, knives. Only I have this, and I hope I hope. Uh, to understand my uh, explanation about my presentation in English grammar and thank you for watching me and goodbye.